Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna go over how to make this design right here. This one is super easy, super fast. I promise you can do this entire design in a matter of a couple minutes. Um, so real easy Earth Day design and a lot of different fun ways that you can go about doing it. I'm also gonna talk about Earth Day just a little bit. So if you're interested in learning about this niche, please do stick around. So as always, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. This is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. This week is gonna be all about um, Earth Day. And so I've got a couple of different Earth Day designs that I'm going to show you. Um, the first one that we're going to do is going to have a bear and some um, kind of foresty aspects to it. And we'll put a little text with that. Um, I do want to go ahead and um, share with you why it is important by the way to do some niche research because there's a lot of different ways we could go with earth day in terms of just you know different sayings um you know or just you know designs that have to do with earth or how it's important to recycle or environmental this um but whenever you've got a yearly um kind of a yearly holiday i don't know if that's the right word to use but it is a holiday um, typically there'll be a theme and so that's something that you may not be aware of so for example women's day just passed there is a theme every single year so if you're trying to market you know a particular holiday for a particular year it is helpful to know what that theme is so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys so that you're aware so if I go ahead and put you know Earth Day 2023 into my browser and I pull up the page for Earth Day, you will see that the theme this year is actually invest in our planet. Invest in our planet Earth Day 2023. So this is a saying that you will want to use either in your design or at the very least kind of in your tags or titles or whatnot. So invest in our planet is the theme for Earth Day 2023 and that's something that you're gonna want to think about including in some of your designs. Um, if you're specifically trying to market for this year. Now, you know, other caveat may be if you're trying to put up a design that you hope will sell year after year after year, maybe you don't wanna be specific to any one individual year, and then that's fine, some generic Earth Day, you know, stuff you can definitely put up, but you're gonna have less competition if you try to target, um, you know, the particular year. So if I'm just trying to target this year, then I'm only, dealing with competition from this year and other people who are using, you know, this specific theme. Um, so just things to keep in mind. Um, but I did want to show you guys that so that you were aware and thinking that way, um, why it's important to do some niche research ahead of time. But I'm going to come back here. Um, I do have my blank canvas. It's 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and start by selecting a background color. I'll just go ahead and design on black because, again, that's how I like to design. I like to optimize all my things for black because black t-shirts do sell the best. Um, and so for this design, it's going to be really quick, really simple. I'm going to show you super fast. We're going to do a little bit of a bear and we're going to do a photo overlay. And so you've probably seen designs like this done before and you can get as creative with different animals and different styles as you like. But I'm going to go over to the left hand side up to where it says elements. I'm just going to go ahead and search for bear. And what I want is any bear, doesn't matter which one, and I'm looking specifically just for it to be a silhouette. Now it doesn't matter if it's a silhouette, but I am gonna do a clipping mask over it. So it really just is the shape that I'm looking for. I mean, so this is a really popular one here. I can just go ahead, I'm gonna change that color to white there so that you can see. And there you go, that would be a really simple bear silhouette. And so you can scroll down, see if you can find anything better. You know, there's some different ones. And again, it doesn't have to be a silhouette style. I mean, it could be, you know, something that has color in it. We're just looking for the overall shape. Here's another one. That one looks like a little baby bear. And I could combine the both of them too. So if I wanted to do mama bear and baby bear, that might be fun too. And in fact, that might be cool because in the spirit of investing in our future, right? we might want to invest in our future in terms of children too. So 
uh, offspring would also be included in investing in our future. So maybe I do something like that. And I actually think that might look kind of cool. So what we've got is mommy bear and baby bear. So I might go ahead and just go with that. But you can definitely see there's a lot of different things that you can choose from. But keeping with this, I'm going to go ahead, title this uh, bear frame, because this is what we're going to be using for our frame. I'm going to go ahead and download it. So I'll click share, download, transparent background. I'll download that. And now what we are gonna be looking for is gonna be our clipping mask. And so the clipping mask that I want to use that you'll see commonly used would be things like forests. Now you could again do this with probably ocean animals and more of an ocean theme. So again, be as creative as you want with this, but let's go ahead and type in forest. And for this, I typically do wanna go ahead and use a photo. So I'm looking for photos of forests. And so you can use any photo of forests that you like. I like the ones that sort of go into the fog because I think that that gives a really cool effect. But again, you can do anything that you want. Layered ones are kind of cool. So go ahead, scroll, see if you can find something that you think looks really cool. Mountains, you can search for mountains too. Sometimes that'll come up with some different pictures. Um, so lots of different fun ways that we can go, obviously. I like all of the ones that sort of have that, um, you know, pine tree looking um, mountain look to it, just because if we're gonna do a bear, it might as well look like it's sort of a bear's habitat. Um, so again, you can do this with different animals and just make sure that your photo sort of matches their habitat. So I'm just gonna show you the most commonly used one just so that you can kind of see how it's done. So let's go ahead and we're gonna pick this picture here because I kind of like it. It's got all the different trees. It's got the kind of fog look to it. I'm gonna make sure it covers my whole thing. I am gonna go ahead and just check the transparency really quick. So if I come up to this little checkered box, it says transparency. I can click that, bring the transparency of the picture down. That is gonna show me how the picture is gonna line up um, on top of like my bears. So I, you know, I don't want it to be so high that I'm not getting any of the fog. I don't want it to be so low that I'm not getting any of the trees. So you can kind of line this up so that it looks cool. So that I'm getting a little bit of the trees, a little bit of the fog, so that I'm getting sort of that, you know, kind of gradient effect that I like. And once you have it kind of lined up the way you want, we'll just lose the transparency. And now I'm gonna download this picture of the forest. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and put forest, well, let's say mask, and I can click download. I'm gonna download this one. This does not need to be a transparent background. It can if you want, but it really doesn't matter. And once that is downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and jump right over to Photopea. If you haven't used Photopea before, it's super easy. Literally just type Photopea into your browser. This page will come up. From here, click open from computer right in the middle. It'll pull up your downloads. You're gonna start with your frame. So you're gonna pick your bare frame and click open and it will pull up your bare frame. Okay, so I am just looking at the silhouette. I know that this one has a little bit of a black outline to it. Doesn't matter, don't worry, because that black outline will go away once we put the clipping mask. It's just going to be the shape. So from here, I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner where it says File. Three spaces down, it says Open in Place. You can click that. It'll pull your downloads up again, and from there, you can go ahead and pick your forest mask and it will load your forest mask and it should load it right over the top of your bears. So it should look like this. From here, if you go to layer, which is at the top, about halfway down, it says clipping mask, click on that and there you go. Now I've got my clipping mask. So there are my bears with the kind of forest and fog and it looks really nice. And so from here, I can just go ahead and export it. And that is all I needed photo P4, by the way. So about halfway down under file, it'll say export as, go to PNG, give it a second, it'll pull up a little box. Here is where you can retitle it if you want to. So I could put bare forest if I wanted to, just if it helps you to kind of keep track of everything. It's still PNG, still 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Everything's more or less the same. You click save, it's gonna save that. And then from there, you just jump right back over to your Canva page. And so from here, I can get rid of that. 
I can keep these here too, by the way, if I wanna use different masks. So maybe I don't like that mask and I wanna try out some different ones. If you leave these here and you can just try out different masks over the top, you'll make sure everything's lined up good. Um, so sometimes I just like to leave my original alone, add a page and then work with the second page in terms of the design I'm working on now. So from here, I'll just go over to the left hand side where it says uploads and I'm gonna upload the file that I just downloaded. So here is my bare forest. I will upload that, give it a sec. And it should, you know, upload it. You'll see this little circle is starting to fill up. Once it's filled up, then, you know, it's all uploaded and it is ready to work with. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of text. Okay, so it is filled. I can go to my uploads, I can click on it. And there it is, I went ahead and put two up, but there is my bear design. I'm gonna go ahead, crop it a little smaller. I'm gonna blow it up so it fills kind of that whole page. I want the bears to be pretty high up on the shirt so it looks something like this. And so that looks pretty cool right there. You could do an outline around them if you wanted to. So let's say I just wanted to put a little thin like white outline around these bears just so that they sort of popped. I could definitely do that or I could leave it alone. I am starting to lose a little bit of the bottom of the bear so maybe just so you could see what that would look like if I go to edit image and I go to my shadows and I go to my glow shadow. That's what I would use to do a little bit of an outline. Click that, click these three little bars here. That's gonna open up your, your settings. I'm gonna go ahead, let's try white. Lose the blur, lose the transparency and just have that just gentle little white outline around it. And so I can do something like that give it a second and it's just gonna put a little white outline around it. And it'll take a second to kind of smooth out, but you can see how it looks with the outline. If you don't like the outline, don't worry, go back up to your, outlo uh, your uploads and you can just put the original back or you can just use your backspace if you don't like it. But you know, that's kind of how you can sort of see how it's gonna look with an outline. There it is, it's smoothed out. And so you can see it's just a very thin little outline. Um, not, not quite sure how much I love the baby bear because I think it, you know, without that little separation line, it makes it maybe a little bit hard to read, but you get the idea. We're gonna go ahead and pull up a text box now. So if you click T on your keyboard, it will pull up a text box. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in what we just saw our Earth Day theme was, and that was invest in our planet. So we are investing in our planet right there and then from here it's just a matter of you know picking your fonts picking how you know you want everything to look i think what i want is for it to be all caps so if i click that i can go to where this little little a and big a is if i click that it'll make it all cap locks i actually sort of like this font because for me it's just nice and simple um, but you can make a bold font, narrow fonts, you know, you can play with that however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, but I am gonna change the color so that it's maybe a little bit more of this gray color or a green color so that it looks like it goes more with this photo versus just some white text on the page. So to do that, I'm just gonna go up to text color and I can select text color here. It pulled some, picture, um, some colors from the picture. I can also go to this little add color box and use my little eyedropper feature here to hover anywhere over the design that I want and select a color off the design that way. And so that's one way to do it. So that looks like it matches just a little bit better. So that's how it would look if I went with that nice gray color, really makes it pop. I could also try again if I wanted to go with more of a green shade. And so you can see how it might look with green, but it sort of blends into that that dark background a little bit more than I would like. So maybe I'll go back up to that gray. Make sure my text is centered. I actually do like the way that that looks. I might not even play with the fonts because that is just a nice, clean, simple font for a nice, clean, simple design. So I actually think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this. I'll title it, invest in our planet and I'll put bears. And then from here, all I have to do is download, 
transparent background. It's a PNG. I'm only interested in page two with this one. So I'm just going to do page two and I'm going to click download. And that is all there is to this technique. So this is just a really fast one that you can do just using a simple clipping mask over an animal, you know, silhouette. And so super, super easy, super, super quick, and a lot of different ways that you can go with doing this. So if you have any questions um, about this technique, about Earth Day, about print on demand in general, or any requests or videos that you'd like to see, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everything as quickly as I can. Again, I hope you guys are ramping up. You know, a quarter two is starting soon, and so we should be already looking forward at our quarter two niches. So again, our next video is also gonna go over Earth Day, so please stick around for the next one too, um, and I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time 